from Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. South African crane manufacturer Contra Cranes has been appointed mechanical subcontractor to international engineering company MH Automation to manufacture a five-ton double girder electric overhead traveling crane for the University of Johannesburg's Rescue Simulation Center. Sabrina Jardim tells us more. UJ's Rescue Centre will train helicopter crews and emergency personnel in aviation rescue under various simulated weather and flying conditions. The specialised crane to be supplied by Condra will replicate helicopter movements by lifting, rotating and tilting an AS-365 Dauphin helicopter fuselage supplied by Airbus helicopters. So we will be designing the overhead crane that will actually simulate the movement on the helicopter shell that it would go through during a rescue scenario. We'll do the lifting, the lowering, the tilting forward and backward, and the rotations. And then along with that frame, we have fan attachments, as well as lighting attachments, to simulate the weather conditions. A four-story high building with a six meter deep wave pool is already being constructed at the center. Once equipped with the fuselage, the crane will simulate the operational conditions of a machine hovering over water or land by manipulating the lifting points of the suspended airframe. What we've used here is a double girder crane with a dual hoisting system. The reason we're using the dual hoisting system is because we need to create a luffing motion so that the helicopter can rock backwards and forwards. We need to create a, a four-point lift so that we can create stability on the frame that the helicopter itself can be rotated as well along with the forward and backward movement that the cross travel and the long travel would give. So you give a multitude of directions and a complete 3D sort of movement of the machine, of the, of the helicopter shell itself. Meanwhile, MH Automation is designing and supplying the controls for safe and reliable crane operation. The company is providing a radio remote joystick that will control all airframe movement from the rescue sensors floor through insulated gate bipolar transistor variable speed drive controls fitted to the hoist motors. We do the mechanical components that hold the shell and MH Automation will then do the rotation, will we'll control what we build to make the shell do what the simulation is, is, is required. While the project requires cooperation between various engineering disciplines, Kleiner expresses that a challenge faced by Condra involved ensuring that all players involved in the project were aligned with their aims. I think the biggest challenges were incorporating the different engineering disciplines, having the mechanicals tie up with the electricals and uh, the drive sequences, the sensors that go along with that, and then the add-ons that they want for simulating weather patterns. And that's probably been the most difficult part to deal with. Before the rescue sensors official opening, Condra and MH Automation will train the clients in crane operation including on how to exchange the different airframes used for rescue training and underwater escape. Project handover is scheduled for July this year. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.